Well, welcome everyone to this, our sixth draw of our Club 500 here at Montrose FC. And I'm delighted to be joined today by Director of Sunnyside Estates and Pert Bruce, Mr. Jamie Pert. How are you doing, Pa? I'm very well, thanks, Ross. Good to be here. Uh, on this auspicious, uh, auspicious occasion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great honour, Jamie, I can tell. <laughs> Aye, it's gin day today, isn't it? Not world gin day today. Oh, really? You're telling me Aye, this? <laughs> we could have had it set up and everything, mate. I thought that's why we were here. <laughs> I tell you, it's not gin weather today, though. That's the only problem. Oh, it's not. No, I can hardly see it at the window. Uh, well, Jamie, obviously, you, you, you're a supporter of, uh, of, of the club, um, but also financially as well. You, alongside Green Park Garage, sponsor the manager's car. So I suppose yep. one of the one of the good bits of news will be the MOT is not going to cost much this year. Uh, no, I, I, I think we've probably cancelled the license as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we've, we asked for it back for three months. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a driver. Is it sworn or something you call it when you take it off the road or something? Sworn. Sworn. Aye, sworn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sworn. Sworn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So, yeah. how have you um, how have you been occupying yourself over the last sort of three months, Jimmy? Well, uh, really, probably a bit like everybody else. I've been working around the house, doing all these uh, jobs and chores that uh, we hate to do. Um, my young lad Murray he had to come back uh, quickly from Australia. He was only there a month, so he's been staying in the house. So that's been interesting. Uh, <laughs> but he's been. He's been very good. So he's assisted. We've been digging up the garden and altering all sorts of things. Uh, and I've actually had a wee vegetable patch. And I know you're very, you've, you're very pleased with yours. I am. Uh, well, I've managed to grow lettuces to the point that I can only assume that a lettuce is a weed because I don't think I'm a good gardener, but I've got masses of lettuces. <laughs> yeah. You, you well, want it. There's just ton, and they're just getting greener and greener and bigger and bigger. So uh, I'm assuming it is a weed. <laughs> uh, no, I, you made the same mistake I made last year, which is you totally underestimate how well lettuce can grow, and yeah. I've just given it away to everybody on the street. It's just uh, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, I pull it out and eat one leaf and throw the other bit in the bin, <laughs> uh, just to keep saying uh, that we're getting fresh lettuce. Uh, I've also done onions and carrots, but they're, they're not quite as extravagant as the lettuce. Uh, so that's yeah. been a bit of fun, anyway. Uh, and we've yeah. done we've done a bit of biking. With, uh, Murray and I have biked and Shona, and we've done a bit of walking and uh, a little bit of work for Sunnyside Estate. It's just been a different time. Um, and you know, we then uh, I spoke to Peter Davidson, and Peter said that. Uh, the club, uh, the community trust, was uh, doing the lunches mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of those in need. Uh, so I volunteered, uh, Murray and I both volunteered, and we've been helping with the lunchtime deliveries uh, of food around Montrose and Brecon. Uh, so, you know, Anne Kenny and uh, Claire Davidson have been doing a fantastic job. Uh, I mean, I think we're up to, I think the first day we did it, it was about 17 meals. Uh, by the end of the week, they were up to about 61. Um, wow. So wow. Uh, it's fantastic. And I mean, for us, it's sort of, you know, we collect the food and uh, go out around the houses. Um, and really, it's, it's only when you do that, Ross, that you realise how uh, lucky we are and how others are finding it really hard. You know, they're in flats, they're, you know, they, they have a lack of facility, they have a lack of food and they're really elds, uh, elderly and young uh, they really appreciate it and um, you know they're all thanking us uh, they're all delighted to have it um, and I think it's a great thing the community trust has done and it's certainly something that uh, the community in the area need uh, but we should never take things for granted there are people out there pretty desperate and uh, it's things like this that really help them through what is particularly difficult times. Um, so, you know, I've enjoyed doing that. That's been a uh, good part of the, the whole shutdown, really. But I think it's been a good, you know, the whole lockdown's maybe, uh, I think it's got people to appreciate the people around them. And I think maybe the community trust 
uh, it's actually showing the strength of the trust uh, and how important, in a way, uh, the football club and the trust is to the town, uh, which can only really bode well for the future because things are going to change. Um, so hopefully it all works out and we get back to some degree of normality in the, the next few weeks. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, what else maybe surprise folk is the fact that, you know, you're delivering meals, not just to Montrose, but to, to Brecon as well. The trust is, is not yeah. just about, you know, this town. Yeah. It, it, its work is, is beyond. Yeah, well, that's right. I didn't realise that. But they're, they're obviously, you know, we're up at Lunan, I think. They're up at Brecon. They're up at Hillside. So, you know, they're covering the whole area. Um, and we managed to get to Brecon and actually get back safely. So I was quite <laughs> happy with that. <laughs> uh, we only took that's a couple of guns with us. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this will probably have been uh, an opportunity that you've never maybe had before in your life to, to, to spend as much time doing voluntary work, you know, because obviously you're... Yeah, you're, you're well, well I'm, yeah, uh, no, I've not, I've never really had a lot of time uh, to do what you wanted to do to a certain extent, so yeah, I, I've really appreciated it. And a lot of people I've spoken to in business as well have found this, it's just a time to, to catch breath and... Mm -hmm. You know, maybe to think about some of the other things that are important and take stock of their lives and uh, how things will maybe go forward. That's not to say that we don't, in another two months, we're all back to normal and, uh, you know, uh, such as, you know, the human the human mind. But uh, I think there's there's got to be some positivity comes out of this as well. I mean, do you, do you see yourself now maybe considering doing more voluntary work when you do eventually retire? Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I'm semi-retired now, and I think this is this kind of has helped me. Well, I've been furloughed uh, anyway, uh, and Craig hasn't phoned me very much, so I'm just working on the assumption that he doesn't really need me. <laughs> 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 I didn't know what furloughed meant, but I think it just means that you're not acquired. <laughs> That's very, very much. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> he phoned me once to ask how I was. So <laughs> that was a good one. I know, no, no, we have been keeping in touch. We've been, I've finally, I've been using Zoom and using Teams and everything else. So, I've, um, although Murray doesn't, uh, he suggests that I'm not really tech savvy. Uh, I think I am, but he certainly doesn't think I am. Put it this way, it's certainly going to be an improvement from what it was before. Yeah, you know? that's right. I know. Yeah. I, think, I think a lot of people, like you say, are, are probably finding that volunteering really is a great thing. And, and there a lot, I think a lot of people always sort of maybe had the attitude of, oh, you know, there's a do-gooder, you know? Yeah. Not realising that you get a lot out of it. You know, you, you do. Um, people require this, this help, but, but you meet new people, you, yeah. you get the opportunity to, to create new friendships, and, and you do feel pretty good when you've you finished doing some volunteering in the community. Yeah, and it's, that, I mean, the effort for us is fairly minimal. I mean, what Anne and Claire are doing, actually cooking the food and whatever, I mean, that's a huge task that they're putting on every day. Um, but we're getting out, and we're actually, in a way, we're seeing the benefit of their food because we're getting the thanks from uh, all the people we're giving it to. But yeah, it's, it's, it's it, it, there is a feel good factor with all that. And I think it's, it, it, as I say, it makes you appreciate your own position, but it's 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 certainly important for others out there. So, uh, no, no, I'd I'd be happy to do voluntary work more. Uh, I think, time uh, for yeah, I think I think the as far as the trust are concerned, you know, if there is people out there who could benefit from anything that the trust are doing, they should really be getting in contact uh, w yeah. with them. And uh, yeah, well, obviously, if there are volunteers, people out there who feel they could contribute uh, in some way to the running of these things, they'd be delighted to hear from them as well, I think. Yeah, and I think they've been, you know, Peter was uh, emphasising too that when we're out delivering, if we're seeing, you, you know, we ask how people are, and if we find that they are struggling even further, then Peter has uh, the contacts to actually push for, you know, he can get more food, he can get more uh, basics that these people require. So, you know, if they show you know, show real difficulty, then we can get more assistance to them, which is important as well. Yeah. yeah. Good communication. Well, you, you said it earlier on, and it's the fact that the trust has just shown how massive a part of this town it yeah. has become. 
Um, Absolutely. Uh, and great people working for it too, which is, you know, that's, that's important. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, Jamie, here we go, pal. This is, uh, okay. this is the draw. So there's two, two numbers. The first number that's drawn is for a uh, £500 prize. And then there's the second one, which is for 100 quid. So my able assistant here is going to produce the, the numbers for me. Here we go. Cheers, pal. Ta. Right. Does it rotate? Oh, no, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, okay. Can you can you turn it so remote? <laughs> <laughs> Technical problem. My, my sight's going bad, Jamie. I can't see the I can't see the names so well. Right. Aye. Right, okay, Jamie. So if we could ask you to draw the first ball here for the five hundred quid. Give him a good shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> so our first ball out is number 80. And the £500, therefore, has gone to Fraser Thornton. So congratulations to Fraser, uh, Fraser Thornton. Well done. It's £500 there. So, Jimmy, the well 100 £100. Done. £100. And the hundred pounds goes to Davy Lane for number oh. thirty four. Dave Lane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for doing that, uh, Jimmy. Always a pleasure to spend some time with your pal. Yeah, although I did speak to you for hours on uh, Thursday night at the whiskey club, but so yeah, I've seen more. Awesome. Of, I know I've seen more of you than the wife this week. <laughs> That was also a pleasurable experience. Yes, it has been. That's helped us through difficult times. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, uh, I appreciate, appreciate being asked uh, and good luck to the, the club uh, as we go forward and hopefully things take off next season. Yeah, fingers crossed. I mean, that's why something like this uh, 500 Club is really important because it's an opportunity for um, fans to put a bit of money into the club at the moment, you know, yeah, which is yeah. greatly appreciated. So I'd always encourage people to to try and get involved in this if they if they possibly can. Obviously, we know that times are more difficult for people at the moment, and maybe the they don't have the the money to spend every month. But if they can afford to to put something into the club, this is as good a way as any yeah. to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I take it you're away to go and get your first gin, then, Jimmy. Yeah, the first. I'm actually supposed to be golfing today, but I'm playing with Pete Wood, so I don't know whether it's golf or what we're going to be playing, but. <laughs> We'll be out there. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine there'll be a hip flask or something. Well, 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 we'll take some botanical gin of some form to assist us through the misty, the misty, murky afternoon. <laughs> Look, uh, again, thank you for your continual support of the club, Jamie. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted that you volunteered to help out with the trust there and uh, look after yourself, mate. Thanks very much.